Ten Thumbs Production. Everything you need to know to make the music that you want to make. What's up everybody? Welcome to another Reason Tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at some things that uh, something called CV, controlled voltage, that a lot of Reason users probably avoid because it seems overly complicated or scary or every time they use it in an experiment they don't get any cool results. Well, I'm going to show you one basic thing that you can do with it to kind of get some cool results. And this is using the CV with the matrix and a CV merger and splitter to kind of get some cool results. I mean, come on, that's the ultimate result, right? Or the ultimate goal. So I have a matrix pattern sequencer right here. Now this matrix pattern sequencer is set up in the C sharp minor pentatonic to get this really, really, really basic little melody, okay? Now the design, the idea of this tutorial is not to show you how to be Sebastian Bach, it's to show you how to use this stuff. The limits are your creativity. I've said it before, I'll say it again. So we're gonna hit the tab button, and flip around the rack. Well first, watch what happens when I hit play. We see this little guy up here is moving, but we're not getting any noise. So let's hit tab, flip around the rack. Here I have something that says gate CV. I'm going to click this and run this up here to sequencer control in gate. I'm going to go back down, note CV, and run this note CV up to CV. Now tab, go back down, stop, and watch what happens when we hit play. The really basic kind of little crunchy crappy loop. But we see the matrix is controlling it. Um, I'll get into the matrix probably in my next tutorial so you can see exactly what it does and how we use it, okay? All right. So. We want to build something more complicated. Well, that's where our spider CV merger and splitter comes in. I'm going to run the gate CV to a split and the note CV to a split. Now we can see that we have three outputs where we can run this to three different places. So I'm going to run our gate CV to gate in again and I'm going to run our note CV into note CV again. Now let's listen. Same thing as before, right? We're getting noise. But now I can also take this gate CV down to sequencer in here and this CV for the note up to spider CV here. Flip it around. Now watch what happens. We have two things rocking and rolling at the same time. Well, let's change these sounds. Let's see if we get anything any more orally pleasing. Alright, slightly more interesting. Now let's hear it in the context of the song. Let's load up a drum loop, open up our browser, and we're just going to throw in a hip hop, the first one I see live at 92. Alright. Alright, that's it. That's the basic idea, alright? How you can use the CV information and merge it and split it to control more than one parameter at the same time. It gets a lot more complicated than that, alright? I just kind of slapped this together to show you how to use it. Um, I want you to go out there and use it and experiment with it. When you're making a song in Reason, 
I recommend starting from different places, not always starting from the same place, because a lot of times you're going to get the same results. Start with the matrix, start with the CV, start with some synthesizers, start with the drums, start in different places and see what happens. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Use it, let me know how it goes. And as always, I want to see and hear some responses. Send me an email, send me a file, let me know what you think. Get a hold of me, get in contact, let's network and let's make some music. All right, dudes, dudettes, dudarines, do yin. I hope this was helpful. Rock and roll. Konnichiwa. Peace. Ten Thumbs Productions. Everything you need to know to make the music that you want to make.